He didn't know if she wanted to do it. Okay. And now, Margarita Cabrera is a community artist. You may not have heard of her yet, but you should. An assistant professor at Arizona State University's Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts, a force to be reckoned with in the artistic community as her most recent exhibitions include a show entitled Space in Between, that is at the Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix, and Our America, the Latino Presence in American Art, that is at the Let's see, Smithsonian American Art Museum in Washington, D.C. Her work has been included in L.A. County Museum of Art, the Contemporary Arts Museum in Houston, the McNay Art Museum in San Antonio, and many more. And she is living right now in San Antonio and may tell you about why. Please give it up for Margarita Cabrera. Good evening, everybody. Buenas tardes. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm so honored to be presenting with my fellow presenters. Thank you so much. I believe the power of public art is in community building, bringing people together with a common social interest, working together, sharing, cooperating, and developing networks through art processes. Two years ago, I was commissioned by the San Antonio River Foundation to make a public artwork for Mission San Francisco de la Espada, focused on ranching history. I proposed the Árbol de la Vida Voces de Tierra, an iconic sculpture that will measure 40 feet tall and 80 feet across, an artwork inspired by the community stories of ranching history and formed by their very own hands. During the colonial era, Árboles de la Vida were introduced by the Spanish as storytelling instruments relaying stories of the Bible as they try to evangelize the indigenous communities. Today, artesanos depict not only the spiritual, but also the traditional beliefs, such as unity, duality, rebirth, and many, many more, inspiring communities all over the world, not just Mexico. I prepared my proposal with a site visit of all the World Heritage Sites. San Francisco de la Espada, the Mission, was built in 1731. It venerates San Francisco de Assisi. This is the future site, installation site, for the Árbol de la Vida sculpture. And we also visited the Rancho de las Cabras, one of the last ranchos of the World Heritage Site. During my visit, I discovered that there were kilns, such as this one, buried within the mission grounds, once used by the indigenous communities to produce the construction material for the beautiful facades of the missions. In honor of this labor and of the communities, the indigenous communities, and in honor of memory of the land, I decided to use clay as the main material to build the Árbol de la Vida, La Tierra y el Barro de San Antonio. And on this note of memories, I want to share with you, my last name is Cabrera, and the Latin derivation is Cabria Bria, a name that dates back to 10th century Spain. Cabra means goat, so Cabrera is a place of goats. And when we visited the grounds of the rancho, I came across this amazing boulder, this historic marker, a plaque that read Misión of las Cabreras. Recognizing my name, immediately I felt a rush of heat through my spine that felt, helped me to feel grounded and I was in a state of awe and bewilderment, tried to make sense what this meant that I was connected to this amazing history. And this is a sense of warmth and rootedness that I wished for everyone else with this Árbol de la Vida project. My site visit was two years ago. Fast forward to today, we have 700 people working together, discovering and celebrating their connection to the San Antonio history. They came from different parts of the world, uh, traveled to honor their city and to leave a legacy behind. We worked with uh, different organizations that hosted our charlas, our public a public uh, events where people shared their stories of the missions. We also worked with an advisory board committee made up of Tomás Ibarra Frausto, Antonia Castañeda, Catherine Nelson Hall, Claudia Guerra, scholars and specialists in the field of history to help us make sense of all the stories and the thematics and to find historical context order within the tree. Some of the themes that we came up with for the tree are land, Sacred, sacredness, food, labor, leisure, and celebration. For example, 
If a sculpture is made of a metate or a comalito, it will be placed within the tree section of the stories related to food. We facilitated, have facilitated what feels like the largest ceramic making marathon ever to be done in the city. Uh, Mission Clay, which you see some of the folks here from Mission Clay, provided us with a clay product that is long lasting, that has qualities of sustainability and environmentally are friendly. Mission Clay is also the, the site where all the pieces are going to be fired. Uh, all of our sculptures will be fired to 2,000 degrees. And I'm delighted to see and know that everybody who works at Mission Clay has treated our sculptures as if they were one of their very own. To make our sculptures, we worked with two simple clay process, processes, slabs and coils, and we engineered amazing designs with the support of local artists, our teachers, different organizations, and art specialists. The success of a project of this scale can only be successful if you have a true, passionate support team, one that will see you through the rough spots. I'm lucky to have found the best team in the city with Lico, Gavino, Cornell, Desiree, and project manager Nidia Alguin, just to name a few of many people who have helped along the way. The participants of Arbol de la Vida community have given us a true gift with their story. And we want to present this gift through a digital app that we're designing for the smartphones to be able to share with audiences all over the world. People from everywhere will be able to see the amazing gesture of creativity and the community stewardship towards the city's important historic and cultural communities. 700 people, 700 stories, 700 sculptures depicting a piece of this magical history, the history of this magical city. This is a really significant message. In the midst of our country's hostile political climate, the Arbol de la Vida will show the world that San Antonio is exemplary and innovative, open to working and collaborating with international entities, a city that solves problems together creatively, and a city that celebrates our differences as our strengths. With the support of the school districts throughout the city, we had a wonderful group of students participating, students that have never made art before, much less public art, and without a doubt, they will be moved by this experience and aspire to become the future artists in our communities. Our youngest member is nine years old, our oldest, 85. Just like the clay, as artists and creative makers, we connect, we build, we support, we break, we dissolve, and sometimes we crumble. But we're malleable, we're flexible, and we're constantly rebuilding into new, stronger forms. And so far, we're still standing as an Arbol de la Vida community. Thank you to all who've embraced the opportunity to make art collectively, to exercise the transformative power of art. Thank you to the San Antonio River Foundation for supporting the success of this project. And thank you to Pecha Cucha for the opportunity to be here tonight. That was awesome. Uh, first of all, if, if um, I grab the microphone there. Now you touched on all this, but the Arbol de la Vida. Grab it, it's not you, coming off. Well, I'll just you, let you it be there. Yeah. Um, where did you get the idea again? You touched on that. How, how long is so this? So the idea for the Arbol de la Vida is right. inspired by the traditional craft traditions from Mexico, the Tree of Life from Puebla, Acatlán, Puebla, to be exact. I have family in Acatlán and spent some time there working with the artesanos, communities there, and we're inspired to make this. Uh, is there anything this big like this? Is there anything? No, no. This is an iconic sculpture, I believe, probably will be the largest public artwork of a tree of life made before. And it's an honor of all of the community here. It's an honor of all of the artesano communities throughout Mexico and throughout all the communities in the world that really see this as an important unifying symbol. Right? And this is not tree one of, of the portal artworks. This is part of the portal projects for Mission San Francisco de la Espada. And now where yes. is it exactly from, say, the chapel of the Espada, or people trying to so figure out where So if you're standing in front of the chapel, yes. Go to the right, there's a walkway towards the river, about 700 yards. Okay. There you will see the Tree of Life. And where, uh, where are you in terms of construction? Well, we are finishing the production of the Tree of Life. I think there's some members of the Arbol de la Vida community here, which I'm excited about. We are finishing the production of all the objects, all the story objects, as I call them. And we will begin the installation in the spring 
with an unveiling in April. And will those sculptures go on the ends like leaves, or how does that how does that work? So the Tree of Life is designed um, just like the traditional trees of life in two dimensional form, mm -hmm. right? So two dimensional plane that has tree branches throughout, framing smaller pieces, right? That tell a different story. So we. We have designed this tree with a plane that repeats itself on a center axis three times. And so um, that's the way it's going to be. So you will be able to see how? You see the pieces will be installed within these framed spaces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that was a dumb question. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, how do you like living in San Antonio? I love living in San Antonio. It's really, you know, it's an amazing place. There's so many people here in this community that embrace art. And embrace it's a lot better than Phoenix, isn't it? <laughs> hey, people there are doing wonderful work too. Really good work with the arts. But it's really refreshing to come to a community like this and, and see so many people involved in the arts, you know, and really working towards equity, diversity, and inclusivity. All those are elements that are important in my work. So I'm very, very happy to be here. Give it up. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That was a trick question.